direction. I think we felt really strongly about representation. We really wanted to reflect the sort of joy of community and friendship. One of our starting points was to try and almost go against type, which is to not go for the tropes of a high school show. I'm Matt Evans and I am with Perry, creator and executive producer on Phoenix Rise. The BBC put out a tender for a new children's school-based drama. So Matt and I were both approached individually um, and we'd worked together on EastEnders first and then we both did Ackley Bridge. So we spoke about it and decided to pitch for something together. The hardest point for us was trying to figure out how to come up with something new that felt fresh. How hard can it be? decided to come in with a, a premise of six kids who have been excluded from school. We start on their first day back to a mainstream school and this was about how they settle into a new school when the odds are against them basically. So that was really our starting point and we kind of ran from there. Now that you're all here, welcome to Phoenix Rise. You're all with us for different reasons, but the main reason is the same. A chance to shed all that baggage from the past and rise up from the ashes. Hello, my name is Tyler Fyroche and I'm playing Jamie Stewart, or Man Like Jamie, as the kids call me. <laughs> Jamie um, has come to Phoenix Rise as the new head and as part of his kind of initiative, he's brought along six students that went to a Prue school and he's bringing them back into mainstream school in order to give them a second chance. One man's unteachable is this man's work in progress. I'm Lauren Cora, I play Summer in Phoenix Rise. I'm Tara Webb, I play Rani, Imogen, and I play Layla. I'm Jaden and I play Darcy. I'm Chris and I play Khalid <laughs> <laughs> Uh My name's Alex Draper, I play Billy Hopkins in the show Phoenix Rise. Do you want me to tell you about Billy? Should I go? Yeah, yes? I do. Okay, alright. If you're just looking at him, you think, oh, this guy's got anger management issues and he's just a bad kid. but. Really and truly, he's got reasons to be that angry. They're not going to try and split us up, are they? So my character is Billy's sister, and me and Billy have a lot going on at home. His mum is recently deceased, and his father's has run away. You've no idea where your dad is. And we need to think of a plan B. Social services. This is all about celebrating the underdogs. These kids who kind of slip through the cracks, who don't really get noticed in the playground. We were more inspired by shows like Freaks and Geeks to take those kids who are kind of slightly marginalised by society and really put them at the forefront of this show. You know, like it or not, there's a reason why we all ended up here today. So we either try and find a way to make this work, or what? We walk out and maybe never get another second chance. I love Summer. She's like my favourite person. She's really cool, charismatic, <laughs> um, quite independent as well. You can never be like us. Just wish it hadn't taken me this long to figure that out. It's really nice to sort of unpick Darcy because he's quite complicated. He doesn't really take anything seriously. <laughs> when the serious moments do come along, it's sort of nice to sort of see how he goes with it. You know, as you'll see, he he does have to deal with some serious situations, as do as does everyone in the boiler room. The only reason I came here was so I could mess you up. So Khalid, he's the poor little soul of the uh, of the boiler room six. In his past school, he got bullied by this this guy called Nathan, and. Uh, he goes on his journey with Nathan, played by the lovely Josh. He obviously has a past with Khalid. Due to their history, he essentially makes his life quite difficult. It all kind of changes when he uh, like develops a crush on Khalid's friend, Rani. You don't talk much, do you? But your face says a lot. Good shot. She starts off quite kind of shy and kind of getting to grips with things. She doesn't really want to speak out, she doesn't really want to be noticed, um, and she's kind of a bit afraid to be who she is. She gains this like really good group of friends um, who kind of help each other to be their best selves. You mess with Khalid, you mess with the boiler room six. So I'm best friends with Rihanna and um, got a big sister called B. She has to go to a foster home because um, like, she doesn't work out at our, our house with my mum. Best stay away, yeah. You don't want to end up like me. We 
we also spoke a lot about school being a, a happy place for some children, it's their sanctuary. So we wanted to celebrate that as well. And that, you know, your family might not always be perfect, but you can always find friendship, solidarity, loyalty, um, and also resilience. How did you find us? I had some help. Friends like this, you'll never be alone. As soon as I read the scripts, I was even immediately connected. So I come from a doc background, and I really felt that it was, you know, we had to mix documentary into this drama, a programme that's really based on, you know, the reality of the, what these kids are going through at the moment. This really has such a diverse cast with different issues, and it's not, it's not even, you know, spoken about. There's not points made. It feels like a real reflection yeah. of you know, kids today, it's not, um, it's not trying to be something, yeah. it just is something. Yes. They what? Cut your skull open. Keep up. Then they put the magnet in, stitch it back up, and now... Sick, so you're basically Robocop. I haven't seen a deaf character like Daisy anywhere, um, just in terms of the freedom that I've had to say, this is how I would do it. I've done a load of script changes to make it more accurate and they just completely welcome it. And it's gorgeous and so I really cannot wait for the deaf community and the hearing community to see that particular aspect because it's just wonderful. There's nothing like it anywhere else. It's just really exciting to watch these kids, our, our really talented cast, bring, yeah, bring these scenes to life. And sometimes we're just stood watching and they just take it to another level. It's a mixed experience. Some have worked on TV shows, some have done a couple commercials, some are completely fresh-faced, and there's a huge talent in, um, in Phoenix Rise that we found. I can say we're such a family. The cast get on yeah. so well. Yeah. When we first came, they were like, oh, you're gonna have so many fun times, but there will be, like, arguments, you'll all, but you'll all get through it, and we haven't, like, there's been, like, little disagreements, but we haven't ever had, like, an, um, an argument. So, it's just, I feel like we're really lucky like that. When we started auditioning young actors for this part, we uh, had groups of kids and we did lots of scenarios with the groups of kids and there was one point where oh. our gang, who we have end ended up casting, did their first scene as a group. And it was a goosebump it moment really was, because it yeah. was a, they acted out a scene in a rehearsal room and they all came together. It was like the gang in Scooby-Doo, just suddenly it felt right. <laughs> you saw their faces, they it all kind amazing. of huddled together and, and that was a real like, oh my God, this yeah, is real. Yeah, we were like, oh. Yes. <laughs> the six of you are about to experience a unique adventure. Who's ready for a show? It's really relatable. There's something in it for everyone and not just people that are, you know, in the ages of 15 to 16, 17, but also adults, teachers, People that have got kids or whatever, yeah, just relatable. So make sure you watch Phoenix Rise. <laughs>